Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Uka Anonymous underscore. All right. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, it's looking like another 600 member has come out and expressed their distaste for your boy Lil Dirt. And as much as the fans think these guys be cool with each other based on the old days, it's starting to show little by little that these guys aren't as close as we think. Now, Cap 600 took to Porky's Live with a random message speaking on Lil Dirt. In which I myself ain't too surprised as everybody else is For the simple fact that we've seen Cap still hang around Mimo 600 We know that Mimo ain't rocking with Dirk anymore So it's hard to believe that him and Cap will still be friends Being that he'll still be cool with Lil Dirk in him You know, especially after going through that little backdoor situation That Mimo um, went through with THF Beizu So it was like a fool me once, shame on you Fool me twice, shame on me type of thing And like I said, Cap and Mimo, you know, they, they day ones so it's kind of hard to see that he'll side with OTF and them instead of your boy Mimo. Now, the more people that come out dissing Dirk, although they're a part of the same sets that mess with Dirk, it kind of proves that maybe that division that Mimo and your boy 600 Breezy was speaking about before just might be true. Now, I say that because you have guys that are a part of the same sets beefing with each other or because some decide to rock with Lil Dirk and not the other guys. You know, prime example, you got Lamron and then you got Lil Reese. Although they say that Lil Reese and Dirk is still cool, I find that hard to believe when Lamron guys have openly expressed on many occasions that they don't rock with Lil Dirk or OTF. And that's who Reese decided to be with. Not to mention, recently with the whole DJ Academics thing, Lil Dirk's response about beefing with Lil Reese didn't sound too convincing, but that's another story. Now let's get into what led to Cap speaking on Lil Dirk in the first place. Now Porky, who we know have gotten to a book of 600 in the past, went live and had a few things to say as well. Porky, who was once a part of 600, who was recently locked up and had a small bond that he wasn't able to handle, um, that's how fans started asking Mimo if he got so much money, why didn't he bail out Porky? But Mimo would hint that Porky isn't bonded out because he doesn't rock with him. He didn't kind of say that first too much, but then it led to that. It's rumored that Porky chose to be with OTF when separate 600 members went their own way, but Porky ended up getting into it with Buka, so that kind of left him alone with neither side to go to. So as he was on live on IG, Mimo 600 had a few things to say in his comments when his name was mentioned. Now Mimo would say, quote, It's always the N-words that can bond themselves out that want to play with me. Hitting towards the whole fact that Porky was locked up with a bond and wasn't able to bond out. Then he also said in the comments, he said, quote, you can't come back to my block. Also hearing that Porky can't come back to 600 due to him having problems with some of the members. Then finally, he says, quote, M thing can't save you neither. Just come back to the block. Now, after Mimo finished saying what he had to say, Cap 600 will also join the live with something to say as well. Somehow, Lil Dirk name came up and Cap will go on to say, quote, smirk a goofy on L.A. Now, for y'all that don't really, you know, know what's going on, L.A. is L.A. Capone, and y'all know the rest. Now, most people are surprised because although we know guys like Mimo at odds with Dirk, we never fully seen Cap speak on it and come out publicly saying things like that about Dirk. But like I said earlier, I'm not surprised because we've seen Cap still rocking with Mimo after all that has transpired, so it's only right that he may feel the same way Mimo feel, or else he would have picked a side a long time ago. Now, I'm not sure if Dirk responded, but it's mighty funny and it's a mighty coincidence that after this live, Dirk will randomly tweet a picture of himself on Twitter with the caption saying, quote, who, me? And he pretty much left it at that. Now, I personally think it was a response because it was random out of nowhere and who or what else could he be referring to? Or like y'all like to say, maybe it was just a coincidence.
Now, here's where THF Lil Law come in. We know Lil Law rock with Bezu and Dirk and them. So I'm assuming that's why he came out saying what he said on IG as he took to his Instagram story to say, quote, in words making Mexican music, whole time they dissing us, laughing emoji. Hmm, thumbs down emoji, BD. Now y'all know that whole little Reese two thumbs down thing. It's going fire away by using it. But um, <laughs> at first I was kind of lost when he said Mexican music, but I had to think about it. He talking about Mimo, man. <laughs> he talking about Mimo. And it's kind of funny because Mimo beats do be having that Mexican merengue, bachata vibe to it. But on the flip side, it's like, you know, that's his signature sound. Nobody else sound like Mimo. He got his own style. So that's how he identified himself in the game. So it's kind of smart, but it is funny because the dude got that Mexican bachata feel to it, whatever. But Cab would catch one of the posts, and he actually had a good comeback. Now, he took to his Instagram story, reposted a post, and he said, quote, In words making belt music and ain't nobody dying, no real ops, nowhere, WTF. Sheesh. So, um... To be honest with y'all, it seemed like as time go by, everybody's showing their true colors. I see people in the comments on Instagram saying things like, Dirk not messing with dudes and they mad or dudes mad because Dirk got the bag and, and now they dissing him because he not messing with them. But to be honest, I don't even think that's the case. You know, is it that Dirk not messing with them or is it that they not messing with Dirk no more? You see what I'm saying? Um, It's not always about the money sometimes. With some people it is, and that's usually the behavior of a leech. You know, somebody that's willing to just let you crash out or just be a yes man to you because you got the bag you provided. So they willing just to do whatever or say whatever that'll make you feel cool because they know if they lose you, then they lost the bag. But for the most part, if I don't rock with you because I don't like you or because I think you a snake or I just don't, I don't agree with what your aura, whatever the case may be, that's different. Whatever the reason is, sometimes it's just not all over the money. Not to mention, like I stated earlier, we know that Cap and Mimo is close. So maybe he just decided to stay with Mimo when they all chose to go wherever way they wanted, rather than Dirk because of the money. You know, everybody's different. So like I said, I'm not really sure what's going on in that end. But like I said, I see everybody buzzing because your boy Cap said that Dirk is a goofy, um... It just is what it is. I kind of seen it coming. So, you know, everybody else is entertained, but I'm just wondering why it took so long. I, I knew at some point it will come to this, but at the end of the day, just like Dirk got some of the guys that's rocking with him, I'm pretty sure not everybody going, you know, agree with Dirk. Just because he is who he is, that don't mean nothing. You know, some people are just satisfied with what they got. I ain't got to have the most money, but I got some, and that's good enough. I'm going to rock with my day ones, and that's that. Alright, so y'all jump in the comments, let me know how y'all feel about this. How do you feel about your boy Cap coming at Dirk the way he came at him? And yeah, man, y'all jump in the comments, let me know how you feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.